Call us on your cell phone. Call and marry Hannah. Uh, call me on my cell phone. 0839133728. Good morning. If you're just joining, this is Express. We're in the kitchen this morning because we're dealing with your cooking conundrums. This is our Kanda Hotline, which means we are live with our now potrider and Zona. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to give us a call, you before the break we made yes. the Swiss roll here, yes, and now roll. she's displaying it. It she's is ready. It, but before it, we even taste, uh, we get into more of your questions. Colette Orm said, uh, "Hi, hi. Uh, What's the best ingredients for soup? Looking at making some homemade ones, please." Oh yes, and it's winter, so soup's going to be a it's big player. Awesome. Excuse me, winter is coming. Yes, we're learning about this now <laughs> with my baby in school. It's okay. autumn. It's autumn, okay. winter's coming. Autumn and winter, we love some soup. Yo. So a basic vegetable soup, so you can actually put anything, any vegetables in your fridge into a soup. But a basic one with things that you'll probably have in your fridge already are some onions, celery, leeks, which are optional as well, um, carrots. I always put a bay leaf mm. into my soup. Really? Just, yeah, it adds a lot of like undertoning flavor. Undertoning. Exactly. And some thyme, which we learned about in our herb lessons. <laughs> Um, so you basically just put everything into mm. a pot, add stock or water even, because, you know, the vegetables are enough flavor, and just boil everything until, or simmer rather, simmer everything until the vegetables are soft. If you want a chunky soup, eat it as it is. If you want a smoother soup, blend it. Then you can pump up your soup. Pump your because, soup. Mm. Okay, listen up, everyone. So, uh, Colette, I hope you are tuned in right now. Okay. So, so. You, once you've, you've made the basic soup, you can always add things like lentils to add a bit of protein to it. Um, and these cook really quickly. So, you can just add them as they are raw and they'll cook ah. in about um, 20 or 30 minutes. So, into you your add soup. the lentils last. Mm. Absolutely. Yeah, you got to let everything cook first, because then add your lentils. Or you can add tinned ones already, then they don't have to, have to cook. But, Mama, I tasted that soup. Yes. And... It tastes like there's more stuff in there. No, there is. There's that. that is, is it? There. Yeah, absolutely. Ah, I taste the bay leaf. That's what it is. It's that under, it's under, it's that under, it's under, the undertone. Exactly. Under okay. So pump it up with some lentils yeah. or beans or whatever you'd like. Sure. And then always add some herbs. Because, you know, herbs, yeah. herbs, herbs are always fabulous. And then, if you want to pump it up even more, pump it more. add some cream. Oh, yes. you are like it. Yes. How long do you leave this in for? Then I'd leave this um, to simmer for another 20 minutes, just until the lentils are tender. Eat. <laughs> Which herbs did you put in there? Um, this is parsley. Okay. You can add coriander or any um, soft herbs. It looks delicious. Right. It looks good, eh? You know what I do on Sundays? Normally, after the whole week, there's lots of vegetables of the week left, like mm. one tomato, one carrot, one exactly. this. And then I put all of that in the pot but, on okay. Sunday evening, and that is delicious supper, yeah. supper hey? Yeah. Guys, Not you're making anything. my mouth water. Rachel <laughs> yeah. sent us one. She says, Good morning, Espresso family. Morning. She says, I really love baking so much. There's a whole lot of hose. She says, So much. How do I keep my cookies moist from the day that I've baked it until oh. it's finished? Oh, so until everyone's consumed it. Yes. Okay, so how do we keep it moist? Yeah, so there's a few things you can do, but what we suggest is just put a bit of paper towel at the bottom of a, a, cook, a, a jar. The big thing is to seal the cookies. You right. know, that's a big thing. And so why the paper towel, though? It just absorbs some of the moisture, and ah. it keeps it in the right the, the, the right moisture in the... Then you add your cookies. Right. And you can also, always then, you can either add like a marshmallow, or you can add even a slice of bread, a small piece of bread. Mm -hmm. The bread has got a perfect moisture consistency, so you can add that and... Close it, mm -hmm. and it will keep your cookies fresh. That yeah. is amazing. Tasting fresh yeah. for a very long time. Or even a sugar cube. Yeah. If you put a sugar cube in the in the jar of cookies. Yeah. What leer ek van ochend? Cooking conundrums. Oh eight three nine one three three seven two eight. If you want to call us live on the show, Anal is here. She's she's got that blog you, and she writes in the newspapers all mm. these nice things. And author, author, and espresso <laughs> chef Zola R in the house. If you want to give them a call, oh eight three nine one three three seven two eight. I'm just me. Eh? I've got, I just, I just ah. cook. Zoe over to you. <laughs> 